What is happening guys? Jonathan here aka Crazy Shadow 303 This is a small match review of West Bromwich Albion versus Birmingham City that played out at the Hawthorns last Saturday and also a match preview of tomorrow's game between Brentford and West Bromwich Albion um, I tried to get a match vlog out um, for the Birmingham City Derby unfortunately um, I got everything recorded, I watched the game, done some uh, video clips of my reactions and my disappointment at the 0-0 draw by the way, uh, and got all that done, put it into my video editor on my laptop, uh, got all the video sorted, it had rendered okay, and then when I went to upload it to YouTube, uh, YouTube didn't want to process it, so I don't know why, but my file was all ready to go. I up, I tried to upload it on YouTube. Um, YouTube had rendered it themselves and they just didn't process it. It just didn't want to process. So that is why um, this video on the Birmingham game is slightly delayed because basically, and, and the video was almost an hour long as well. That was the best thing. Almost an hour long video, an hour's worth of work pretty much. And YouTube just didn't want to process it. I don't know what's happened there, but I will try to find out um, for future content. Uh, but right now, um, I think for the rest of the season, I'm going to be doing match reviews for the remaining nine games, whether they're home or away. Because if you've seen my channel um, this season, you'd know that every home game I was doing vlogs and every away game I was doing match reviews. I think whether, regardless of whether the Albion is home or away, I think I'm going to do the rest of the season as match reviews and in terms of next season I'll try and get my equipment sorted and and we can have a great series for the 2020-2021 season whether we're still in the championship, fingers crossed we're not, or we're in the premiership, you know. Uh, but yeah, so the derby last Saturday uh, against Birmingham City. My personal opinion, Birmingham came to the Hawthorns and they just set up to defend, 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 defend. And it worked for them, to be honest. Um, what didn't help us was the fact that we only managed, what, two, three shots on target. You know, we didn't really test Lee Camping goal. Um, they had two shots on target and some great saves from Sam Johnston. Um, but to be honest, you know, they were good, they were great saves, but to be honest, they were easy saves. Um, but yeah, so they, they didn't really test at all. Um, whereas we were just throwing everything bar from the kitchen sink at them. And yeah, like I said, they just set up to defend and, you know, every time we got the ball in their final third, you know, we had like three, four, sometimes five yellow shirts blocking off options for us. And all credit to the Blue Noses, you know, that was their game plan. They stuck to it. Um, probably kind of didn't help that that was both teams' first competitive game in like flipping, what, 12 weeks, you know, since March. That, that, was, their, that was their first competitive game. Okay, we've had friendlies against Aston Villa, which we drew 2-2, and... We've had a couple of friendlies against Manchester United, which we won 1-2-1, one, one, you know, <laughs> against Manchester United. So, so yeah, um, bit of a disappointing nil-nil draw, but a point is a point. We are top on goal difference, thanks to Cardiff beating Leeds the following day, you know. That was, that was great. Thank you, Cardiff. We owe you one. <laughs> but, yeah, now we're on to this weekend and we play tomorrow at Griffin Park against Brentford. Now, this is Romain Sawyer's um, former club, and he has already come out and said that he's going to put rivalry ahead of friendship. So you know, he has the great he has the greatest of respect for Brentford and everything they did um, from last season. You know, with him. Um, but I'm glad he is saying, he's basically come out and said 
that he's focusing on Albion's interest now. You know, Brentford just happened to be in the way. <laughs> At least that's how I've interpreted it. But yeah, um, Brentford, they are fourth in the table. This is first versus fourth. So they are not going to be, um, they're not going to be pushovers. I can tell you that. Um, they beat third place Fulham last Saturday, just before our game against Birmingham. Um, two very late goals from Ben Rama and Makandes. You know, and to be honest, in my opinion, their, den their danger man is um, Ben Rama. You know, we have got to watch him. Our defence needs to be on point to neutralise Ben Rama. You know, he has been really good. I think he's had premiership experience before with Watford. Not entirely sure about that, but I think he, he was playing for Watford at some point in his career in the premiership. So, yeah, he is, he is a decent player. And, you know, I've singled him out um, from Brentford's squad uh, to like as their danger man. You know, so we've got to watch Ben Rama because like Fulham learned the hard way, he can hit you when you least expect it. You know, and we, we again we've got to watch we've got to watch Brentford for their attacking um attacking prowess and yeah, because Fulham, you know, it was heading to a nil nil that game as well. And Brentford just pulled off two very late goals. It was like the eighty eighth minute and injury time. So, yeah, we have really got to watch Brentford tomorrow. But we had first game out of the way. You know, there was a few bugs to iron out. Hopefully, you know, Slavan Bilic and the Albion team has done some decent work on the training field this week. You know, because we cannot have another performance like we did against Birmingham, where we just attacked, attacked, attacked and got nowhere with it. You know, to be fair, like I said, Birmingham set up to defend and they did their job well and full respect to Birmingham for that. But we do that against Brentford and just like Fulham learned, Brentford can hit you, you know, very late on in the game and surprise you. We can't afford that. We need a win, you know, to get us back on track um, and to keep us top of the table because Fulham have got leads as well on Saturday. So we're talking first versus fourth and second versus third. So this is going to be interesting. And also Preston's against Cardiff, which is sixth versus seventh. So this weekend's going to be interesting at the top of the championship. I can tell you that. If you like this video, guys, um, oh, my prediction for this game is 2-1 Albion. Uh, ben Rama to score their goal and uh, Carnu and I'm going to call it Sawyers to score against these former club. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please, please, please leave a like. Subscribe to Crazy Shadow 303 if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to join my Shadow Squad and get notifications on all new content on the channel. I think this is the way to go for the rest of the season with these match reviews. So I'll get the next video out after the um, Brentford game tomorrow, either tomorrow night or Saturday. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video very soon. Bye for now.